So I'd like to show you how to use the array templates. So right here, I've got my array already declared and I've got a system.out.println kind of code. So not an applet, but a command line interface. And then on the website, on the course website, so if you scroll down to the unit we're working on, there's a bunch of templates here in the notes section. And if you noticed, my array was a string. So that means I'm going to need the string template. So if I go here, there's a whole bunch of things I can do with my code. So right here, it shows me how I can print horizontally. So if I just grab that code and copy it and bring it over to the program that I'm working on, I can paste it in. And then there's something that I have to do to switch it. The name of my array is bird. So that means down here, I need to go into this array and I need to switch it to be bird. I'll spell it correctly. Switch it to be bird. And then I'll switch the array name down here to also be bird. And now when I run it, that it will print it horizontally. Let's say I want to find the maximum value in my array. So I go down here, I find the code that does that, right? It's right there, copy it. And then I'm going to go over to my program and then I can add that in. Okay, so now when I run it, oh, oh I didn't change the name of the array. So I'm gonna go do that. So now when I run it, it tells me that the largest value, and that would be alphabetically speaking, so the last one in the alphabet is Ren, um, and that's what it's printing out there. So if you can, so you can see that these array formulas will do some very standardized functions. You just need to find the comment that does the thing you want, then you copy it, paste it over in the program in the spot where you'd like to do it, and then make sure you change the name. And then once you've done that, when you run it, it will find the things that the code does. Um, there's a series of very standard things that we like to do with arrays. Um, oh, missed one. And uh, honestly, they're just a template to make it work. All right. So that is how to use some of the things. This is really great for the program like Fishy Fishy and some of those other ones that are some introductory problems on the website. I'll point them out to you. So like uh, Pumpkin Sizes is a good one, Fishy Fishy, uh, I think the Marks List as well. Those all use the array templates to help you find the minimum and the maximum and to print them out in different ways. Okay, good luck with your code.